If you use WhatsApp on your iPhone, this video might interest you. So if you take a look at my WhatsApp, I have extra features that makes it very, let me say, customizable for me and very interesting. So I'm going to run you through some of the best extra features I have for my WhatsApp. And if you're interested, I'm going to do another video to show you how to install this special WhatsApp version that you can use on your iPhone. This only works on iPhone, so if you're an Android person, maybe comment below, I'll do that one too separately. But this is for the iPhone users only. Basically, WhatsApp, as we have it, is a standard messaging app that you can use to message your friends and family and chat and all that, right? But there are tweaked versions that you can install uh, for free that it gives you extra, should I say, benefits as opposed to the normal ones. So when I start going through the features, you understand why. Basically, every app you have in your phone can be tweaked. And when we say tweaked, it means that it can be modified to do extra things that it wasn't intended for you to do in the first place, right? And WhatsApp is one of them. We have tweaks for almost every app you can think of for WhatsApp, um, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, every app has a tweaked version. Just that it's not officially supported, so be mindful that if you're going to use any tweaked version of any app, you stand a risk of getting banned from the platform especially for snapchat so those people looking for snapchat tweaks yeah so once i'm done with this video i'm going to do another video to show you how you can install this tweaked whatsapp on your ios let's get started okay, now i'm on my phone now so let's get started so before i start let me just show you the difference so on my right i have the tweaked whatsapp meaning that whatsapp has a lot of features like it has extra things that i can do on the left side is a normal whatsapp so we're going to use both to compare so i'm going to chat between the two of them so that i can show you how each feature works right okay so best first of all let me go to settings so on this one you see that first of all the settings screen has an option called watusi preferences right so basically this tweak is called watusi i don't know why he called it that so he's actually a very good developer which i've been following for some years now since the ios jailbreak days by the way um, also, you don't need to jailbreak your phone for this to work. As so far as you have an iPhone, uh, this will work. And like I said, I'm going to show us how to install this tweaked version in a separate video. This one is just going to be me showing you the features this gives me. Right? So let me just go into it. So first of all, if I tap on the Watusi Web Preferences, you can see I, I can change all these things on my WhatsApp. So I have all these extra features I'm, I'm, I'm able to modify, right? It starts from privacy protection all the way to the, even the theme and how the app should look. So I'm going to go through them one by one. Some of the things that I do, I like personally, and then uh, things I think you might find useful as well. So let me just start from the top. So the first of all, if I go to privacy, you can see that I have a lot of options here that I can do, So which I've enabled some of them already. So first, of, so for example, you can see that it says freeze last scene. So it means that, you know how when you open a WhatsApp chat with someone, you can see their last scene, right? So for me, I can freeze my last scene so that you see it can be you can see me, I can be online, but you see that I'm, I've been online. Let's say I was last offline yesterday or something. So it will just freeze it, uh, and it even gives a description. It says you will not be shown online, and your last scene will not be updated when you open WhatsApp, which is the first cool thing. So meaning that if I go on the left to the iPhone, you can see that uh, I think you can't even see it here. So it, you can't even see, see my last scene on this guy. Okay, so I'm going to be chatting between the two of them to see to show you how each of them works, right? Now let me just send a hi to the tweet WhatsApp. So it has come. So it says hi. So the first thing is I can even tap to see. Uh, let me see. Will this appear? All right, this is just a normal WhatsApp thing. I can say hello. So as you can see, as I'm typing, it shows you. I installed this fresh, so I'm, that's why it's just showing me the tips. But anyway. So when I start typing, you can see that I'm typing on the left side, right? Let me show you how I can disable this. So, so if I'm chatting with you and I start typing, you can see it was doing that bubble thing. So I can disable it. First of all, I can just go into the chat. And again, I see that I have three extra features for this contact that I'm chatting with. Right? So I have the red receipts, typing indicator, and then recording indicator. So I can just turn off the typing indicator, for example. So now if I start typing, it won't show, look on the left side, it won't show any bubbles again you, you see that i can enable it again just show you again so if i start typing now it's back and i can turn it off again and then now it's gone all right that's the first cool thing 
Um, let me see. Another thing that you will most likely find interesting is that you can, if you send me a chat and then you delete it, I can still see it. So let me just, as an example, let's say, uh, I can say hi there, right? And then the person down says, oh, he wants to delete it. So you can just go and say delete it and delete for everyone, for example. So delete for everyone. And it says yes. So you can see that first of all, on my right side, on a tweet WhatsApp, I can still see the message and then it has this indicator on it so i can even tap and see the message history so this is a thing that the normal whatsapp doesn't have but this one has all right uh, what else can i show you so i can also um if i if you send me a message as a view once and you delete it i can still see it also if you send me a view once i can take a screenshot and even save it so let me show you so let me just go into my gallery close your eyes you see anything so let's say i was actually testing something um before let me just send this happy new year oh sorry let me do it let me do it like a normal <coughs> let me also clear from it so it doesn't so that i can do it again um delete okay so let me just send a, uh, a photo but i'm going to make it a view once okay so i'm going to send as a view once Okay, so as you can see, I sent you a message that has come to photos of you one. So first of all, if I open it like this, I can close, it's still there, I can open it multiple times, multiple times. <laughs> and I can even uh, click on the share and save it to my to my uh, phone, so it is saved. I can go and view it in my gallery, and it will be there, all right? Okay, so let's say the person has done that, and then... I can even, uh, so if I want to, it to vanish from the person, so the person doesn't know that I've seen it and I've not, I don't know, just to make you know that, okay, I've seen it, right, just to trick you, I can just, okay, use this, you see this two double, should I say check marks, I can just do this and then it will go away, that's only, go back. So the next one I want to show us is, uh, let me go back to the settings, so we have done the privacy, um, I think I've gone through the manually marked view ones open. So if you send me a view one message, I can mark it as seen or not. Um, I can also I can also screen record or screenshot the view one. So I think apart from saving it, I can also screenshot it. So let me show you, show you this. So let's see if I send um, this. You know, normally you can't screenshot a view one. So if I open it like this, I can actually screenshot it, and it won't it won't do it, give me any warning. Right, and I can view it in my photos like that, simple like that. Okay, let's go back to what I can do next. So, go back to settings. Um, I think I've shown you how to disable the typing indicator recording as well. So, if you're recording, you know, when you're recording an audio, the person can see it, they can also disable that. Uh, red receipts too. So, if I send you a message, um, let me just say yellow. Uh, you see, I can see that I stick blue, but when you send me a message, so let's say hi, it won't tick blue for you, even though I have seen it. See, on the left side, you don't see that I stick blue. So that's another thing too. Let me go to the next one. Um, a lot of things I can go through. So I can even block incoming phone calls. So if you try call me, it won't even come at all. And this one too, um, last scene privacy auto switch. So you can, you can turn on my auto switch such that you, my last scene will be um, always switching around it won't be consistent so you won't see my last scene accurately okay enough of this one let's go to the next one so protection um this one whatsapp has now added this as default so i no more use them again at first before whatsapp brought them i could set the passcode for my ch uh, the, the app itself lock the some chats itself um and even hide my last messages protect the style messages as well use face i didn't know that and you know how you can archive your chats to here you can protect that archive chat with the face id or a passcode that's really cool and here is the the one i love most where you can save the status messages before post so let's say you hi um you post a message on your status i can actually um view and download it which I, which is one of the main reasons why i use this tweak or this tweak version so let's say i post something on my status let's say uh let me put a random thing maybe let's watch and I post it so I can say test so I post and then share to my status all right if I come to our chat and I go into your status 
so if you see this like this you see there's a button at the right and left so the right side can make me mark it as seen or not so if i view it i can decide to mark it as seen or not or i can even download it like this and i save to my image gallery which is there so i can go back to my gallery you can see it here awesome uh what else what else can i show you so i can also go to let me go again i think we were status here so um i can also use it as whereby it won't it won't change so it won't automatically move to the next screen so i can disable that and so that i can manually move it myself i can also whenever i post the status of my account i can archive it myself i think instagram has this feature now too good another thing to if you delete your status i can still view it so let me go to this one i just posted here i can just go and say delete if you delete this i can still go inside your chat our chat and i'll still be able to view it so you see this is still there so by it will tell me that you have actually deleted it so let's say you see it says deleted at 8 or 9 pm so i can still see it that's one cool thing too before we continue let's give a shout out to the video sponsor fast ad fast ad is a platform that can be used by a business to promote their businesses and services on whatsapp status how it works is that you simply log on to the platform with your email or your apple or google account upload a flyer as a business add a caption state your description and then your preferred audience when you're done the marketers on the app will just pick your advert and share it on your whatsapp status for you meaning you are able to get people to post your business on their whatsapp status on your behalf and then they can contact you if anybody is interested be sure to check out fast ad from the google play store or app store thank you fast ad for sponsoring video now let's get back to the tutorial then we come to the chat so on chats too there are a lot of features you can go through so for example i think i've shown this one too. if you send me a message and you delete it i can still see it i've enabled that i can even show the if you let me just show it here so let's say you send me a chat and you see and you edit the hit so if you made a mistake and you did this hide there and then you change the message let's say you go inside and edit it let's say you edit it to hide the let me just make another mistake i can i can tap on this icon that appeared on my chat and see that okay you had you sent the hide there first and you didn't send hide the that's another cool one too uh telling you uh how to confirm whether i want to send the want to call the normal call or whatsapp call let me just show you how so let's say i'm calling this number if i tap on the call maybe voice call it gives me a, a last uh, confirmation and also the cool thing is that i can choose to call your phone number as a career call or the normal whatsapp voice call which is very helpful so I can actually start this up allows you just pin just three chats. I can pin multiple. So let me say one, two, um, can do three, can do four, like multiple of them can be pinned. You see it. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and I can go on and on and on. Which is awesome. Okay, so if you look at my WhatsApp, basically, yes, you have I have just three tabs, right? So I can modify the tabs. So you see there's usually that I think one, two, three, four, five five six seven which has a lot of tabs i can change mine to just three because that's how i like it so i have disabled the calls communities favorites and groups and i have just three here so i can add more let's say i want to bring i can drag and drop the calls the communities let me just do the default one for you to see and then group i can even restore the defaults yeah and even rearrange it how i want right so let me bring this guy here and then I have to restart relaunch it so the features when you enable them you have to relaunch the app so I go back inside now it's back to the default playing to list so let me just go and change it back I don't like this so chat list I think it's a general okay general tabs then I will just remove the calls communities so now I have just chats updates let me move this guy here save relaunch I go back so i have just these three tabs all right what else i think that's basically the ones that i use mostly um i can share multiple media i can even export if you send me a voice message i can export it uh, i can send a limited number of photos at once um yeah so yeah basically yeah and there's this nice one where auto reply you can send me a message i think i did one if you send me a message i can auto reply you 
which is good for people who have a lot of chats. If you want to automate the replies, you can do that. And they have a theme. You can add your own theme, modify it so that it will look different. So let me just, let me say, they have a default one that comes with it, which is, that it is too dark. But let me just enable it, relaunch, and show you how it looks. Basically, you can change the appearance of the, of the WhatsApp itself, the text in the app, and everything, right? But let me just go back to the default. Uh, I haven't had time to do this. Okay, so yeah, that's basically what I can do on my on my WhatsApp. So yeah, a lot of tweaks are available for it. So these are the ones that I use more times. I can even hide chats, contact spoofing, and there are other tweaks as well that you can explore, which is not well. If you're not a techie person, you might not find it useful. Like these three are very cool. Maybe if you are interested, I can do a video about it. Uh, yeah, that's just about it. So um, stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to show you how to install this if you want to on your iPhone. And then you can play around with it and have fun on your WhatsApp. All right, so that is how my WhatsApp looks like on my iPhone. I can do all these wonderful extra stuff. Um, as you can see, the list is a lot. So I just took you through some of them. So, but once you install it yourself, you can also modify them or enable or disable the ones you don't want. Let me know if you want to go deeper into any of the features that you saw and then you can do that. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like and then comment. Let me know if you enjoyed this or not. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Cheers.